Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Caves and Cliffs. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, because I am loving it. In today's episode, I'm planning on finishing this house behind me on the inside. As you can see right now, the inside's a bit of a mess. We have just dirt blocks everywhere. There's still a pond right here. And the upstairs is just completely empty. So today, I want to fix all that and make it one nice, beautiful house. So let's get to it. Okay, so I got the floor all in place here. I'm using polished um, deep slate, that's what it's called. And as you can see, all the way around. Next up, I want to build up the walls. But first, I'm going to use this grass that I got and uh, patch up this pond back here finally. Hippity hoppity, your leads are my property. Thank you, good sir. Oh, he's got drip leaves. Um, We need to run get some emeralds and buy that. because That's the only way you can get those right now. And there we go, boys. Four drip leaves. Can we just plant these anywhere near water? Oh, in water. Okay. And apparently you don't get them back, so we need to be careful with that. I'm probably going to set up a farm for those soon, so that we can get more drip leaves. And there we go, that pond is all patched up now. So at one point, I think I'll want to fill in this entire little dip right here. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is. Next up is the walls. Okay, there we go, walls are in place, and as you can see, there's still a few holes, and that's where I just ran out of deep slate. So I have to go grab, like, a few blocks more, which is, you know, mildly infuriating, but it's alright. And so uh, I'll see you back when I've finished up the walls. There we go, the doors are in place, and next I'm going to get these chests for my storage room in. Alright, there we go, the chests are in, and I don't know if I'll ever even use all these chests be honest, I don't even know what is going to go in each of them. Okay, so I added some windows going around the outside so we can get a bit more natural light in. And I think it looks pretty good. Next up, I'm going to work on the kitchen. Something about the roof was bothering me, and I couldn't figure out why until now. It was lowered down a block, so I popped it up a bit. And that looks much better. As for the inside of the house, I'm almost done. I've got the kitchen done. So I'll show you that. Here we are in the kitchen. We've got a couple smokers over here. We've got a sink here, some food storage up here, and some random barrels over here. We also have the storage room done right here. And then the last thing we need to do for the first floor is to make these stairs wood instead of dirt. And there we go. I think that is a huge upgrade for the stairs. So next, I'll get working on the second floor. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, 
I've got all the walls in place for the upstairs area. Right here, I'm going to have a painting which we can go through to get to our secret enchantment room. So next up, I'm going to work on getting all the furniture for my bedroom and the enchantment room in place. Okay, so I believe I have all the materials ready. So let's start placing this in. We got a door here. Uh, we need two doors like so there. We'll cover that up with a painting. And there we go, a beautiful. Next up, we need a little dresser here. And I'm out of torches, but I'll put one on there later. I believe I have a little wardrobe right here. That painting's in the wrong spot. <laughs> that painting will do for now. And then the next thing I need to do is get my bed working. Um, I would like a light blue bed. And it's obviously got to be a double bed because that is the law. And there we go. This is a nice little bedroom. I might add a plant to one of the corners. But for now, this is all I've got to work with. Next up, we need to add another door here for the tower. Then the enchantment table goes here. And we get bookshelves. Oh. Then we get the bookshelves going all around here. I am going to need a few more bookshelves to finish that off. Then we put this in place. This is going to be our brewing area. I need a brewing stand for that, but we don't have one yet. And then last but not least is this little salt sand um, nether wart growing area. Unfortunately, we don't have nether wart, so we'll have to go get some of that as well. And apparently I miscalculated the amount of trapdoors I need, so there we go. Okay, next up, I'm going to gather some moss blocks and azalea plants for some pot of plants. At last, I've finally found it. The chest of wisdom. What does it say? That's good wisdom. Let me show you guys how to make a really cool plant with the new moss blocks. First, you place down a piece of dirt. Put some trapdoors around it to make the pot. Next, you get one of these azaleas. Place it like that with a moss block on top. And there we go, we have a little potted plant. There we go, I spread a few of these plants around the house. I think it looks a little bit better. I'm still not entirely sure what to do with this room though. Building those potted plants gave me a good idea to make a pond outside my house. And I think I'm going to put all sorts of azalea trees and these drip leaves in here as well. So I'm going to fill this up with water and I'll be back when I've done that. Okay, there we go. I might have gone a bit overboard with the plants, but this is what it looks like. And I think it looks amazing. As you can see, you can kind of parkour across like the lily pads and the drip leaves and all the- Oh, apparently not. Not when it's lagging, I guess. But yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy about how this turned out. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is head to the nether and get some of those decoration blocks that I was missing. So I managed to find a uh, nether fortress. And I'm here in spectator mode showing you because... There's a double blaze spawner, which is really nice. But the downside to this fortress is that it's just one long hallway. And that that's the whole fortress. <laughs> so we still need nether wart. And I don't think I want to find another fortress. So I might have to do that later. So I was googling other places you can get nether wart. And it turns out you can find them in bastions as well. I was going to save this for another episode, but I suppose I better do it now. I just need to find a way to get in there. Okay, here we go. Let's pop on in here. Okay, we've gotten somewhere. We just want to get in, get the nether wart, and get out. Uh, 
this. That's dangerous. Dude, I am terrified. I hate these places. Ow. Scary. I don't like this. Okay, there's some gold up here, though. I'm sure they won't mind if I take it. Yo, ancient debris, let's go. Still no nether ward though. Okay, here's another chest. No nether ward. Cool. I think I'll just head home because I don't think this bastion has um, the room with the magma cubes in it. Because I think that's where you find the nether ward. So I'd like to get some mending books from some villagers, but for that, I need more emeralds. So I think I'm going to build a farm right here. Nice and big so that I can get tons of emeralds from villagers. Okay, there we go. So the farm's all dug out. And next, I just need to till it all. And you know what? I think... Yeah. I'm worth it. Okay, there we go. So I've got the field all tilled out. And I used like half the durability of that diamond hoe. So I'd say it was worth it. Next, I just need to gather tons of potatoes to plant here. So it turns out, this is all the potatoes we have. 61. Uh, not great. I'll take it some bone meal and uh, bone meal those up. Okay, even after bone mealing it, this is all I've got. So it's probably going to be a while before we make any significant amount of emeralds from this. But I think over here, I'll make a pumpkin and melon farm as well. Because uh, that is where the real source of emeralds is going to be. Okay, so I've got the pumpkin and melon farm all dug out. Next, I'm going to put some wall at the back so these pumpkins only grow where they're supposed to. And there we go. That should stop them from growing here. Uh, I don't have enough torches, so for now, that one will have to do. <laughs> and let's put some up here as well. Perfect. Oh, this place is going to look amazing when it's done. But for now, it's sleepy time. I've started adding in some paths around the place. So we've got some going to the melon farm, to the regular farm. And I'm going to get some going around here as well. But first, we need to replace all of this with grass. Okay, here we go. So I haven't re replaced all the grass yet because my pickaxe is running really low on durability. Um, so I'll probably do that at some point later. But for now, I've got enough for the path to go around. And I think next, I'm going to get all these stone brick walls in. Man. That sucks. 
Wow. Okay, so that looks much better. The wall has been expanded all the way around here. And I haven't finished around the whole house yet because I'm not sure what to do with the front. I think the next thing I want to do, though, is make a sugarcane farm on this side of the pond over here. In this area, I think. Okay, there we go. Sugarcane farm is done. And as you can see, I tried using these moss carpets to cover up the water. But I didn't have enough. So we need just a few more for that. I'm not sure what to do in this area yet. I think I'll plant some azalea trees there. Um, but for the most part, I think it's all done. I obviously need to get more potatoes and pumpkins and all that. And I need to finish the front wall off here. So it turns out I'm an idiot and uh, I forgot to click record earlier. So you're missing a few clips, but let me just show you what I did. So as you can see, I finished the wall all the way around the house. And I made like plants and a garden everywhere. So as you can see, we got flowers here, a few azalea trees. Um, we got some bushes over here and here. And then around the back here, there's a few more bushes. And this loops to the sugarcane farm and the pond. Now if we head back the other way. I have a little glowberry farm set up here. As well as sweet berries here. Um, some flowers right here. And we have another our pumpkin and melon farm right here. As well as our potatoes here. So I'm pretty proud of how this turned out. And I think that's where I'm going to end the episode today. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.